friends, it's Gubba at the Gubba Homestead. I'm a first time homesteader following in the footsteps of my homesteading forebears. And today is an exciting video. I'm gonna be showing you five things to prepare for or help build up your prep outside of food storage. I've done so many videos on food storage. Let me do a video on other things to prep and build up your stock on outside of food storage. Let's get started. One great category of things to stock up on is camping. So I got like a tent, I have a propane stove, I have chairs, I have the ability to cook, I don't know, like hot dogs, s'mores, you know? And then I also have a large cast iron pot over there. So I have the ability to cook wherever I go and I have the ability to use this if my electricity goes out or, you know, if I'm just camping. But camping supplies, like you got your tents and there's so many supplies when it goes into camping, but just having your essentials, like having a tent if you have to go. I also have another smaller tent that I keep in like a big backpacking backpack so I can just like pick up and go. Smaller chairs, there's so much you can do, but like look into what you need and then get accordingly. I'm more focused on, okay, if my electricity goes out, power, whatever, I wanna be able to cook. So I have a propane, tank but i also have cast iron supplies so i could cook over a fire if you haven't thought about cast iron supplies i would highly recommend them because they are so versatile and they last for forever literally i have a cast iron dutch oven which is used to cook over the fire you can make so many things with this really delicious desserts but heck yeah i can be cooking with wood and fire and still making food the next category is, well, how are you going to eat your food? How are you going to store your food? So be thinking about that, especially if you don't have running water, you're not going to be able to do your dishes. So you're going to want like some plastic cutlery, so plastic forks, spoons, knives. So let me show you some of the stuff that is good to have on hand. Paper towels for cleaning up messes. As you can see, I use a lot of paper towels, so I have a lot of paper towels. Plastic bags for storing food. Plastic cutlery, so you got your knife, spoons, and forks. And then up here I got parchment paper, I got foil. Back there I have paper plates, and there's propane for my camping stove. So, band-aids, but that's separate. But all this stuff for being able to eat and keep your food area clean in case of an emergency. Being able to eat your food and have a clean area is incredibly important and the next category is also incredibly important first aid so I have a huge variety assortment of band-aids I actually got given this <laughs> when my mom came so I was like oh heck yeah I'll take band-aids but there's so many things that you can do for first aid that is one area that I haven't completely focused on and it's not like the biggest priority to me personally I have places in my prep that I am stocking up but you can also get like hydrogen peroxide which I have some of and other cleaning kits and there's even like extreme damage kits so if you break your arm or your leg or you're profusely bleeding out and that's not my kind of prep, but that is extremely important. So you wanna look at your situation. What are you nervous for? Like what kind of first aid do you need in your area? Again, that's not something that I'm totally fixated on for me, but it may be something for you. Maybe you're really nervous about a broken bone and I'm just like, all right, if I'm there, I'm there. So that's probably not the best way to look at it, but first aid. So I got me some band-aids and some hydrogen peroxide hiding somewhere, but it should be down here. So another category to keep in mind is cleaning supplies. So I don't know, maybe you got to sanitize something. Cleaning supplies were huge during the 2020 Rona thing that was going on. And I remember going to the store and all the completing cleaning supplies were gone. So say like, you know, something serious actually breaks out. You got your cleaning supplies to scrub things down. So cleaning supplies. I got my pine saw, my Clorox wipes, my disinfectant soap, which I've actually had through the pandemic. I remember I actually got this before 2020. So it lasted me a long heck in time. It was just two big um, barrels or whatever of that. Usually I keep vinegar in there. And I got some more Clorox. And then this is for like dishwasher and stuff, but having cleaning supplies that you like on hand so then you feel comfortable for whatever situation that you face. In the category of cleaning supplies as well, hand sanitizer, if you like to use hand sanitizer, 
sponges. Like, how are you going to clean? How are you going to distribute your pine saw or your bleach? Some sponges. I think I got these at Costco. They last me for forever. More Clorox wipes. I have, like, an all-purpose cleaner right here. You know, toilet cleaner. More bleach back there. So, cleaning supplies... I definitely want to go more natural for my cleaning supplies, so that is something that I'm actively working on, but something to stock up on. So we are now in my bathroom because that brings me to my next category, and that is hygiene. So what the heck are you going to do for hygiene when the water's not running, power's out, I don't know. Some extreme preppers will actually say it's better to just have no hygiene so then you got that smell going on and nobody like comes around because they think you're just as down and out as they are. So that is one way or you know you can stock up on the lotions that you use, the soaps that you use, learn to make your own soap. So there are a few options here. Your shampoo, so I actually use like a shampoo soap or a shampoo bar. So that's easy to like stock up on and I can use it anywhere. Say I had to go to the lake, I don't like we wash my hair anywhere, easy to transport. So keep that in mind, hygiene. What do you wanna do for hygiene if crap hits the fan and you can't be you know, in your cute little shower, showering every day? Maybe you just wanna go stinky and stink everybody out. You do you. So I have showed you five categories to prep for outside of food storage, but I have one more, I have a bonus for you. Laundry, how are you gonna do your laundry off grid? How are you gonna dry it? So yeah, you can go and wash your laundry. Maybe you have extra laundry soap or soap bars or something. How are you gonna dry it? Do you have somewhere to hang it up? You can hang it up around the house. This right here, I actually have clothes drying on it right now, is a collapsible portable dryer, air dryer. So amazing, I love it. 10 out of 10 would recommend, even if you're not prepping for if crap hits the fan. I use this all the time, it's economical. I would love to have one of those like dryer things outside a hang line. All right. Anyways, a dryer line outside, but off-grid laundry. How are you going to be cleaning your clothes? What are you going to be using? You can easily make homemade laundry detergent. I'll link my blog down below because I've made that before and that's actually what I use. So it's easy to do, easy to stock up on. So think about that. I know that I already did my five and my bonus, but I have another bonus because things keep coming to me and I just think that they're so important. Another category to stock up on, winter clothes. And I guess this will depend where you live, but you never know what kind of situation you could find yourself in, even if you live in Arizona or something. So I have a whole thing down here of winter clothes. I, I think I might have two. I, I live somewhere where there's winter, so it makes sense for me to have a lot of winter clothing. So I have my scarves, my jackets, long socks, plenty of beanies. You know I love wearing beanies and snow pants. So don't forget about that. If you are like prepping for snow, you 100% want snow pants. Those will insulate you in the snow. Thick winter coats, mittens, gloves, boots. So all of this, so I got my jacket, as you can see, hats. I also only keep things that keep me happy. This is definitely Marie kondo so I love all these things, but these also serve a purpose for me and they're easy to just grab. I have them down here. This isn't their final spot, but I have them down here easy to grab for if I ever need them. So consider that in your clothing wardrobe to have jackets, hats, boots, anything that you need. And it could also be weather dependent. So say you're in Arizona, maybe you need more like hats and long sleeve shirts to keep you safe from the sun. So definitely area dependent, but you never know where you're going to end up. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you guys learned something and start thinking about these things. I think it's always better to be prepared than not. And it's always great having a surplus because I use everything I have. So I'm not running to the store as much as I would be. And I hate going to the store. So don't do anything you go to do. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have the most amazing day. Bye.